Hi, this is Ben Baldwin, Understanding a Wholesale Customer in 60 Seconds. Now, when someone joins doTERRA, they have two options. They can either join as a wholesale customer or a wellness advocate, depending on what form or what they picked online. The benefits of a wellness advocate are you get 25% off retail, you earn loyalty reward points, free product of the month, no order commitment, and you can earn compensation. They're basically the same with a wholesale customer, except wholesale customers can't earn compensation for sharing. This has a lot of ramifications. For instance, they can't enroll people, participate in enroll or promotions, have a personal website, um, have a downline, tax ID number, resell product or have a full mydoterra.com experience. That means they don't have a team under them. If they want to sign someone up, they need to give them to a wellness advocate or become one themselves. So having a wholesale customer on your team means that you can't put anybody under them. It means you, you still earn the same commission from them. You can change their enrollment status or per personal sponsor st status. Uh, you change their enrollment status in the same way as wellness advocate. You have 14 days to change that or after 90 days, if they upgrade to a, whole, uh, a wellness advocate account, you can move, change their uh, their sponsorship status. And how do they upgrade? They simply log in and click on becoming a wellness advocate. And that is wholesale customer in 60 seconds. Now for a little bit more detailed uh, discussion. You, someone goes onto your mydoterra.com. This is your replicated website. It's www.mydoterra.com forward slash your ID, whether that be your name or your your wellness advocate ID. They click on join and save. They're going to be pr presented with these options here, wholesale customer or wellness advocate. And they'll be taken to this um, page as well that explains to them what the differences are between those two. It basically boils down to the commission thing and I'll go into that in detail. There's also two different signup forms for a wellness advocate as, compar as compared to a wholesale customer. Now, uh, they just fill out that form. All these forms are, are data collection devices. You take this form and then you log in and sign them up using that same form they could have used online to do it themselves. So basically, I'm gonna go through the benefits of Wellness Advocate a little bit slower and compare those to a wholesale customer. Now, they still get the 25% off retail. So they still get everything, uh, all the same benefits and discounts and everything that they get as a Wellness Advocate, a wholesale, available to a wholesale customer. They earn those loyalty reward points back. There's no difference there at all. Free product of the month, same. Um, no order commitment. They can cancel their account at any time. They don't have to buy every month. That's the same. Um, earning compensation for sharing is basically the only difference and the other things that come with it. So a wholesale customer can't earn compensation which means they can't enroll people and everything else that goes along with that. So to go over that in detail, they can't enroll new members. Um, they can't participate in enroller promotions. Every once in a while, Dr. has some enroller promotions, for instance, earning a free jasmine or essential oil or rose essential oil or um, participating in incentive trips. Those are enroller promotions. You you win those things by enrolling people. So if you can't enroll anybody, you can't participate in those. That makes sense, right? So also having a personal website. This is the replicated website I showed you earlier, and I'll talk more about this later, but a wholesale customer doesn't get that free replicated website. This doesn't mean they can't, can't go off and make their own website somewhere. They just don't have that doTERRA created replicated website. According to doTERRA's policy, that is the only place you are allowed to sell essential oils online. You can market essential oils anywhere, um, you know, based on the policies. But when you're uh, giving essential oils for money, the replicated website is the only place you're allowed to sell essential oils for money online. And really, it's the easiest place to do it. You can just put a link there from your website, from your personal website, to this replicated website, and it goes straight to the shopping cart. That's the best way to sell it online. That's only for selling retail. That'll, that replicated website also allows people to join doTERRA under you. And I'll say a little bit more about that later on. Um, you can't have any downline if you don't, um, if you can't enroll anybody. Um, you don't have to give your tax ID number, which actually is a plus for some people. Um, and you, uh, like I say, you can't resell any product at all, online or in person. So there's just no resale possibilities. It's, it's not allowed by um, doTERRA's um, policy anyways. Um, and when you log into mydoTERRA.com, there's a slightly different experience. The shopping experience is the same, except you don't have all the tabs that have, have to do with the network marketing side of having a wellness advocate account. So um, you don't get any of that, but that's okay. Um, so basically what that means 
is that um, a wellness advocate can have a team under them. Wholesale customer, if they have someone that wants to sign up, they'll have to give that person to a wellness advocate to sign them up, which for a lot of people, that's fine. They really don't want to get involved in that. Um, but also that means they don't getting any downline. Um, it's better if you can encourage people to sign people up under, under them. They get you know a little bit of commission and that helps. And, and it's just that one foot in the door that will help them um, introduce more people. So it lifts the boat for everybody. But sometimes people just don't want to get involved and in that you don't have to push them. Make sure they understand that that is an option. So what is it like having a wholesale customer on your team? Basically, you have to understand that wholesale customers, you can't put anybody under them. And you'll know this by, because they're green in the graphical tree. I'll, I'll cover that again later. You get the same commission. So all the commission things act exactly the same, except the wholesale customer doesn't get any commission, right? Um, you can change their enrollment status. I don't know why you would want to give a wholesale customer's enrollment status away, um, but you can change their wholesale customer uh, enrollment status. Um, personal sponsor changes are exactly the same as wellness advocate, except there's one more option. It's called a 90-day move. So in addition to the being able to move them anywhere on, during the first initial 14 days, and you can do that by logging into your team tab on your back office and selecting uh, sponsorship changes change spot sponsor placement. Just click on that. You also have an option to move them after 90 days. If they, um, the wholesale customer upgrades to a wellness advocate account, and that has to be done, they have to make that upgrade after 90 days. If they do that during the between 14 days and 90 days, you can't move them even after they upgrade to 90 days. So they have to upgrade after the 90 days, and then you'll be able to move them. There's some uh, certain reasons for that. Um, provides a lot of stability. Um, people aren't able to, you know, un under undermine the system um, with this. So that 90 day um, window allows for, and, and this is a really big plus, and we're really grateful for it. So, you know, some people are like, why can't we move them during? The well, you normally wouldn't be able to move them at all, but there is an added bonus that after 90 days, if they decide to upgrade, um, you can move them and we're really grateful for that. So how do they move? Well, they simply log in to their back office or their mydoterra.com account, right? Or if they go to doterra.com, they log in there, that'll bring them to the same place. Simply um, click on the Become a Wellness Advocate button. They'll just simply enter, enter their um, text ID number and they'll, you know, they'll be upgraded right away. And this, the enroller will get an email letting them know that that person's upgraded and they can change their sponsorship status. Now, there are a lot of questions that come up with this. And so I've, I've prepared the rest of this video to go over those different questions that arise with this change. This really is a simple thing. Wholesale customer is just someone, a wellness advocate that can't enroll people, really. And everything else that um, is tied to that um, is basically auxiliary to that one bit of you know understanding. So first, why um, doTERRA created a wholesale customer? Now, this is to meet the needs of the customers uh, that want to join bioessential oils but don't want to participate in any network marketing or they don't want to earn money or anything. They just don't want to hear about it. So they can ha join, get the wholesale prices, participate in the loyalty rewards, get the great prices and everything. And if they do know someone that wants to join, they can refer that person to their enroller who can also sign them, them up as well. And that basically um, reflects reality. The enrolling experience is exactly the same. There's a different radio dial button or a different um, form for them to uh, fill out. Um, but the price is the same, $35 initial fee for the first year, $25 renewal fee, they get a free uh, peppermint when they renew, exactly the same. All the kits that, um, that they're using are exactly the same. The whole experience is exactly the same for a wholesale customer as a wellness advocate account, right? There used to be something called a preferred member account. That has since gone away. Um, prefer I'm not even gonna explain what it was, um, but all preferred members, if they were a preferred member, they'll be contacted on a case by case basis. Um, change their membership um, account to one of these other two uh, membership accounts that's available to them. So why would you want to enroll someone as a wholesale customer? Well, it turns out 82% of people who joined doTERRA 
are just buying essential oils. They're not enrolling anybody. There's only like 18% of people who do actually enroll at least one person during their lifetime, during the lifetime of their account. Um, so 82% they're not buying. They don't want to join network marketing and they may not want to give up their tax ID number, which is now a requirement to open a wellness advocate account. It used to be, um, used to be optional, but now you're required to give a well, uh, tax ID number in order to open a wellness advocate account. Um, and so those are, some, those are really big reasons um, for enrolling someone as a wholesale customer. You also have 90 days. That's, those are really, really big reasons that someone else would want to enroll as a wholesale customer. And why would you as a wellness advocate want to encourage people to enroll as a wholesale customer? Well, wellness advocates are is a better status. Um, but the reasons why you would want to enroll someone as a wholesale customer is it's easier to enroll them. They don't think that they're joining network marketing because they're just opening a wholesale account. Um, the only difference is they have that $35 fee, which is waived anyways if they get one of the kits, which are fantastic and a great price. Um, and this can just add volume anywhere to your team. You know, they're not going to be a business builder. They may change their mind later on, but at least they're, they're one of your customers. You can uh, put them on your team, send them emails every once in a while, let them know about uh, bonuses and uh, sorry, sales and everything. And there's always that 90 day option. If they do change their mind after 90 days, you can move them to another uh, spot on your team, which is a fantastic thing that doTERRA encourages us to do. So what are the benefits of being a wholesale customer? Well, you still get the 25% off discount. You still get the loyalty reward benefits. There's no obligation to buy or, you know, you're not stuck into a contract or anything. You can take advantage of the fast track program, which means when you are buying one of those bigger kits, you start at a higher percentage uh, of loyalty reward uh, points being earned back, free product of the month and more. All the same benefits, uh, as long as the benefits are not tied to enrolling someone. Okay, so the team dynamics of a wholesale customer, having a wholesale customer on your team, I re re reviewed this really brief, briefly, you still get all the same type of commission. You can't, you can place them under anybody, but you can't place anybody under them. Okay, they add volume to your team and there's a potential that you can move, remove, you know, move them off later. So this is a replicated website I, I was talking to you about earlier. Um, wholesale customers do not get this um, feature because they can't have anybody shop and buy retail from them. They, by definition, they can't resell to anybody. Uh, they can't have anybody join under them or you know, you know, um, set up an account under them. So they really have no reason for this uh, replicated website. And again, this is the only. Um, legal way that you can sell essential oils on the internet. You can market on the internet, send people to this site, um, but you can't like, you know, have somewhere else where you can sell doTERRA essential oils if you're a wellness advocate. Okay, um, and resell is the other point. Um, you can't resell doTERRA essential oils if you're a wholesale customer. So if you wanted to start sell someone essential oils, just upgrade your account to a wellness advocate. It's that simple. So can a wellness advocate convert down to a wholesale customer? Yes, they can. And it'll happen automatically. If you're a wellness advocate and you've never signed anybody up in your life, automatically when that time comes, um, when that month comes for you to renew your membership, you'll get an email that says, your membership is up for renewal. Your membership will be converted to a wholesale customer account. They still have the option of retaining a wellness advocate account or just uh, doing nothing and their account will be converted down to a wholesale customer account. Why someone would want to do this? Well, maybe they don't want to get, you know, they just don't want to be a part of the, the network marketing thing. That's fine. They just want to move down to a wholesale customer and just participate in the wholesale customers because that's what they are as a wholesale customer. That's fine. So you can't, you can't initiate this. It just happens automatically and it can only be done in the a month of renewal. So again, you'll receive an email um, telling you you have the option of keeping your wholesale, uh, of keeping your account as a wellness advocate or converting down to a wholesale account. After the wellness advocate is converted to a wholesale customer, they can always upgrade as many times as they want. So they can upgrade back to a wholesale uh, wellness advocate account as many times as they want until they enroll someone. Once they enroll someone, they'll be 
as a wellness advocate uh, indefinitely because they would now lo no longer be eligible to convert down to a wholesale customer. Now, um, the, if they upgrade after night, if they are a wellness advocate and they move down to a wholesale customer, and then they up uh, after 90 days of being a wholesale customer, they can upgrade to a wellness advocate account. And then the enroller will get an email that says your wholesale customer, which who was a wellness advocate, upgraded to a, a wholesale customer, uh, sorry, upgraded to a wellness advocate account again. And you would then have the option of moving them um, during that 14, during the next 14 days of them being a wholesale customer, right? Sorry, of them being a wellness advocate again. <laughs> So this can be done only once in the whole lifetime. So you again, you only get one 14-day move in the lifetime account of that enrollee. Um, you can't use both the 14-day upgrade and the 90-day up upgrade. And by upgrade, I mean move or change their sponsorship status. So some people ask, well, can I have both a wellness advocate account and a wholesale customer account? The answer is no. A a an individual or married couple can only have interest in one doTERRA account at a time. So sorry, you can have either have a wellness advocate account or a wholesale customer account. You can't have both. You can't have your name on one, your business name on the other. You can only have one at a time. Um, upgrading. So how, do, how does someone upgrade? You basically, um, someone who is a wholesale customer logs into their account, clicks on the become a wellness advocate account, enters their tax ID number, the enroller will then get an email and their account will be automatically upgraded, not no further action. Their enroller will get an email saying that um, when their wholesale customer upgrades, the enroller can then log in and change the sponsorship status if, that, if they've never taken advantage of that before because it can only be done once in the lifetime of that um, enrollee. And the wellness, uh, the wholesale customer that's upgrading to a wellness advocate keeps their same member number. So if their member number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, they'll still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Membership ID number stays the same. Okay? So next thing is the 90-day move. Um, this is when someone upgrades to a wholesale customer account um, from a wholesale customer account to a wellness advocate account after the 90 days um, they can be moved from one spot in the organization to another spot in your organization. So that's what that means. That can only happen during the first 14 days of them joining or of them. Uh, and then after the 90 days, um, during that first 14 days after the 90 days of them moving. So I have that, uh, that green going on, but that's only for 14 days after that 90 day move. So there is a limit when you have to go in there and make that change, move, change their status, okay? So um, that means, um, can you move them if they upgrade during the 14 day and 90 day hiatus? No, you can't. Um, so for example, if a wholesale customer on your team upgrades on day 60, can you then move them? No, you won't be able to move them even after the 90 days. So um, Again, the move is only available if they upgrade their account after 90 days, okay? Now, Fast Start. So, um, Fast Start is paid during the first 60 days of the, the, the enrollee has enrolled. So, during that first 60 days, that's all you get the Fast Start, and that's for the lifetime of the account. It's not, it doesn't begin again when they upgrade to a wellness advocate or when they are downgraded to a wholesale customer or any of those other um, conversions. It's only during the first 60 days of the lifetime of their account. That's how Fast Start works. No additional Fast Start payments. Okay, shopping. Uh, the shopping experience is exactly the same. However, when a uh, wholesale customer logs into their wellness advocate account, they won't have a dashboard tab, a team tab, business groups tab, or my website tab. They will still have access to all the shopping experience and the message center. So if you're if you're sending messages to your team members through the message center, they'll, they'll have access to that and they'll be able to get those messages. So um, that's one option. Uh, those two things that they have when they go into their shopping account. Other than that, everything, all the shopping experience is exactly the same. So how can you tell if someone is a wholesale customer on your team? 
Well, on, on your team tab, under the graphical tree, you'll be able to see this, this tree and everybody who is a wholesale customer will be green. When you click on them, it still says wellness advocate, but they are wholesale customer if they're green. There's three uh, kinds of versions of this green icon. There's, um, you've got, you know, someone who has no LRP, someone who has an LRP of less than 100 or an LRP of greater than 100. So if they're green, any of those um, shapes or anything, um, they're, they are a wholesale customer. Okay, so that's how you can tell. Um, now, when it comes to transfers, there is a there is a um, an opportunity or a possibility of transferring a wholesale customer into a the place of a wellness advocate on your team. Um, it's it has to be approved by the um, placements department, but that is a possibility to transfer a wholesale customer into the place of an outgoing wellness advocate. Um, on your team. Okay. Um, there is a purchase limit for a wholesale customer. Anybody spending over $5,000 US is considered a business, running a business. And so to spend any more than that, they'll have to upgrade to a wellness advocate account, which shouldn't be a problem. And there's also that ability to become have a tax exemption status, same as a wellness advocate. I don't know anything about this, but just know it's the same possibility as a wholesale customer wellness advocate. Okay, so those are that's a detailed discussion of a wholesale customer. I hope that covered all the details. If there are any other questions, you just need to call customer service and ask them those questions. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed Wholesale Customer in 60 Seconds, followed by my detailed instructions. Thank you for watching.